Today I've come to a special hospital where they make different types of prosthetic legs for lots of different people. They start with a three-dimensional or 3D picture of a person's leg that the new prosthetic leg has to fit. And a 3D picture doesn't look flat, it looks like an object in the real world. The first stage to making the prosthetic leg is to make a model of this 3D picture. And the prosthetic leg we're making today is going to fit just below the knee and then there'll be a shin and a foot at the bottom. The model will be made from one of these foam blocks. It's Adam's job to set the block ready for cutting in a machine called a 3D carver. Quite a long time, so I'm going to use my special time lapse camera. A time lapse means that we can film something at a normal speed, but when we watch it back, we see it happen much more quickly. Look, can you see the model being cut out on my time lapse camera? It's really beginning to take shape, isn't it? was incredible. The block is now the perfect model of the 3D picture that we saw earlier. So Adam can now build the new prosthetic leg to fit that model. The next part that Adam's making is called the liner. And the liner will fit over the person's legs, so it has to be nice and comfortable. So it's made from this spongy foam, which Adam cuts, glues and shapes around the model on a machine called a vacuum former. And the vacuum former is sucking the foam towards the model, making it a perfect fit. The next part to make is called the socket. This is a hard shell, which is formed from three different materials. Nylon, glass fibre and carbon fibre. These are really, really strong. Before finishing the layers, Adam is going to put this metal part at the end of the leg and it's called a claw. And this is where the shin and the foot will be attached later. A final layer of nylon covers it all up. All these materials are soft, aren't they? And we need the socket to be hard and strong. So to do that, Adam's going to cover it with a liquid called resin. Look, the resin is green. And Adam pours the resin in through a bag. It's like squeezing paint out of a tube. It looks brilliant, doesn't it? The resin is running underneath the bag and it's mixing with the layers of nylon, glass fibre and carbon fibre. Once it's finished, the resin will be left to dry till it goes nice and hard. An hour later and the socket is ready. The rest of the parts we need for our prosthetic leg are kept here in this storeroom and here we are. This is the foot, and then this metal pole is going to be the shin. That's this part of the leg just here. Here we are. But first, Adam needs to cut the shin tube so the prosthetic leg can be the right length. And for that, he's using a saw. There it goes. The shin tube is then fixed to the finished socket. And look, there's the liner going in too. And here we have a finished prosthetic leg. Doesn't it look great? I really enjoyed learning about prosthetic legs and seeing how they were made. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember the name of the picture that was used to make the prosthetic leg? That's right, it's called a 3D picture. Did you hear the sound the saw made when Adam cut the metal shin tube to the right length? And did you see how the liquid resin soaked into the socket to make it hard and strong? 